Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and on today's video we're going to go through my favorite rose fragrances. Today's video is powered by this beauty right here. This company called Rose Forever from New York City, they're a small business did send me these beautiful flowers and I wanted to show them to you. We'll talk more about these later, but just look at the beauty. They come in these beautiful boxes. They also have acrylic ones. You can change the color of these. It is a velvet texture and it has the logo right there. It also has its lid, if you can see it back there. And you can actually select the color of the beautiful roses. I selected blue because well, I mean, the background was kind of plain Jane and kind of boring, so might as well add some color to it. And the vibrant blue color is a really nice addition. So we are going to go through five fragrances. These are all going to be rose-related or rose-based fragrances. They're in no particular order. I have hand-selected the ones that really speak to me. Some of these are going to be very simplistic, as you will see. Some of these are going to be a little bit more intricate, a little bit more deep, and they are just fragrances that are beautiful, timeless, and some of these are also classic, but there's a couple here that are no longer with us and are no longer available, unfortunately. So let's get right into it to see what the best rose fragrances, in my opinion, are. So the first one is a discontinued one. I know, we're starting off the video a little sad, but the fragrance I have here is by Cartier, and it is Eau de Cartier Goutte de Rose, and this is what the bottle looks like. So it is a very simplistic bottle. I love Cartier's packaging for one particular reason. So if you see this little thing here, it does adjust so you can spray it. And if you're on the go, you can adjust it, and then you can no longer spray it. So really nice packaging. There is some thought behind it. It's simplistic. This did come in a couple of different sizes. I believe this is a small. Let me double check. I think it's 100 mils, but they also had a 200 mil size bottle, which were really tall. I only have the green one in this size. The entire Eau de Cartier collection has been discontinued, unfortunately, which is quite a shame because I actually like the line. I think it I don't know. And speaking in regards of freshy fragrances, it was probably one of the better done ones. And it just, it just spoke to me, but it's no longer available. Unfortunately, they have discontinued it. They have gotten rid of it. And this brand itself just doesn't get a lot of love or attention out there when it comes to fragrance lovers. But this fragrance was launched in 2013. And the perfumer for this scent is Mathilde Laurent. And it has some very simplistic notes. It has garden roses, cedarwood, yuzu, and violet. Yuzu during this time was a very popular note. It's just a very vibrant, yet sophisticated, yet sexy fragrance that is going to be easy to wear, easy to, easy to wear to the office, easy to wear to a nice event. It is a dressed up, dressed down. It is a day off or a day to go to work type of scent. So very easy to wear, very easy to love, very easy to appreciate, and it just goes well in almost every season. Although in particular, because it is a fresher fragrance, I would say it is one to go or in the summer and spring months. The next one that I have is by the House of Bottega Veneta, and this is part of their Parco Palariano collection. This is what the bottle looks like. Very beautiful. Uh, I think there's some dupe brand out there that has copied this packaging, but it does belong originally to Bottega Veneta. By the way, have you heard that they have discontinued all of their fragrances? That is quite unfortunate because they have some beauties. I mean, some beauties in that range that no one ever spoke about and probably no one ever purchased, but this is one of them. This is their rose fragrance, and it is a sexy, sophisticated, refined rose scent. It's not going to be overly heavy. It is going to be creamy, yet rosy, yet fresh, yet wet. But at the same time, the scent is just all around deep and sophisticated to the point where you can wear it to a very nice event and you can also wear it dressed down. So it's a very versatile scent overall. I think it's one that people have slept on for a long time. You can still get this one at discounters, just so you're aware. I would certainly suggest getting a backup bottle if you have one and if you don't have one to get this one because 
once you smell this, you're going to think very differently of rose fragrances because although it is a rose-based fragrance, it has that beautiful sandalwood that really takes over that rose and creates a creamy concoction of a scent. It's just a beauty. Trust me on this one. It is one to try. The next one is one I need to repurchase because... <laughs> it's pretty much empty at this point. This is La Colle Noir by Christian Dior. It is part of the La Collection Privé, but the fragrance is just magical. If you have ever smelt a garden rose after it has rained or after you have irrigated or watered the plants, this is what this fragrance smells like. But it has depth, it has some personality and some character to it as well. So Although it is a light fragrance that can be confused by just being a wet, jammy rose, the fragrance itself has character to where it can be worn on its own. It's also a beautiful scent to layer with other fragrances. I know Dior has a couple of rose fragrances out there in their actual range, but to me, none of them can compare to the OG and the classic, which is this one. It has a twist of old world aesthetic, but it's also modern enough to where you can appreciate it in today's world. Next one is not discontinued, but the formulation that I have selected is no longer available. So maybe it is discontinued. And the one I'm talking about today is from the house of Tom Ford. This is Cafe Rose, and it is in the private blend range or the private blend formula, I should say. This scent is just beautiful. The mixture of coffee and that wet jammy rose in this fragrance create a very beautiful, unique aesthetic to the fragrance. I know that it is around still in the signature range. The problem with that from my actual point of view is that it's, it's kind of a watered down formula, unfortunately, and because of that, it's not one that I would actually go for. But this one itself, if you still can get your hands on the private blend formula or even get your hands on the one that has the purple sticker which was the og the original try to do that because you will fall in love with this scent unfortunately you can't get the same formulation it has changed in smell it's not the same thing and i don't know i don't know what to say unfortunately i haven't bought anything from tom ford lately because i'm just not a fan anymore but it is what it is definitely try to get this formulation if you can because you will love and the last one that I have is going to be from the house of Yves Saint Laurent, and this is Rouge Velours. It is a rose and patchouli scent. My God, do I have to say that this is sexiness in a bottle. If you are trying to convey sexiness, if you're trying to convey confidence with the smell, then this is the one to go for because it's beautiful, it's rich, it's sophisticated, it's sexy, it's earthy, it's rosy but it's also kind of smoky if you will and kind of peppery in the background as well just a very beautiful fragrance that is going to be refined and ultra sexy i do think that this one is a little bit heavier for the summer months so i would say it's probably something for fall and winter maybe late summer as well but if you have not tried this fragrance, it's definitely one to try. So what do you guys think of these fragrances? Don't forget to check Rose Forever New York, which is this beautiful package here in the background. They are high quality roses. They last for a long time. And if you're like me, I actually like to have roses and floral arrangements within the house. They do die very quickly. And if you do the math, you're actually going to save money whenever you get a rose arrangement like the one behind me. You can select, like I said, the color of your box. You can select the material. So they have plexiglass ones or acrylic ones, I should say. They have the velvet ones that you can get in white and black and I believe in pink as well. You can also change the color of roses and they have vibrant ones from the color of violet, red, pink, white, blue, obviously. And they also have some that are going to be silver. So check them out. I will leave a link down below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more fragrance related content. Until next time, you guys, take care.